Okay. Jamal uh, Jamal, the coordinator of Stop the Wall campaign in Palestine. Stop the Wall is a grassroots movement that started uh, in 2002 against the war. It's mobilizing the people to stand up against this new expansion and colonial project in Palestine, which is building the wall around the Palestinian communities in a kind of an, an apartheid system that they are isolating the Palestinians from their land, from each other, uh, divided the West Bank into different entities controlled by the, by the Israeli occupation with, the, with different system of apartheid roads. There's two networks of roads separated, Israeli-only roads and Palestinian roads underneath. And uh, also there's now 34 terminals or checkpoints that are controlling the Palestinian movement and in and out, isolating them from, from the world and from their uh, lands and property. Uh, we were mobilizing since then against the war. We asked the international community to stand up strongly because this is shouldn't be acceptable. It is like violation for the human rights. It's like doing, a, doing like wars now in the 21st century and apartheid systems is supposed to be from the past era, from the 20th century, that has been fallen already. But to see this again has been opposed to the people that should be like any shame in the humanity face. We should stop this. So our calling for the human, the international community is to stand up together with the Palestinian people for the, in their struggle for their rights, for justice, for their self-determination, for their freedom, to live like any other people around the world in free, in free country, to have back their refugees that they are since six decades now, seven decades scattered around the, the world in the diaspora. This is the, the main thing that we are struggling for. The, the, the platform here, the World Social Forum Free Palestine, is part of this, this platform and this call. It is gathering the international community, movements, uh, people from around the world, human rights organizations, uh, and different others come together to strategize, uh, together unify the work and coordinating it to be much more efficient in stop this, the longest occupation, in stop now apartheid system to be, to be part of the, uh, what's going on in the world, colonialism. So it, it's a joint, joint struggle together against colonialism. Uh, we are aiming that this conference will come, up, come out with like a reference to the international movement, united, coordinating its efforts in campaigns, in, in putting more pressure on the governments, in, uh, in putting more pressure on the United Nations, on the people the, in, their, in their countries, in their governments. And the main aim and the main thing that should come out of this, how we can stop uh, the occupation, how we can struggle for their self-determination, support the Palestinian struggle for their self-determination and freedom. And how is the, the relationship of the, the Stop the Wow with the organizations in Brazil? The, the, this was a like, long relation started in 2007 when we did the efforts together trying to stop the signing of Mercosur for the agreement. Then after that we have been joining the effort asking the Brazilian people to stand up against the military trade of Israel and Brazil. Israel has become one of the main producer and, and, and uh, exporter of uh, military weapons. And this is, shouldn't be with Brazil, with Latin America, that have been struggling for a long time and they have been achieving and succeeding against colonialism, against dictatorships. So it's not the time to open this one with a colonial state. It's not like nice where they, they give the support for an occupying country like Israel that they are that they are practicing the longest occupation in the 20th century and now in the 21st century. Okay.